Congratulations on your purchase of a DSLR Pro's Phantom 2 kit. We know you're excited to get started flying, but there are a couple steps you need to take before you're ready for your first flight. After watching this video, you'll be up in the air in no time. The first thing we need to do is charge the batteries. Each Phantom 2 battery has a charge level indicator. Pressing the button on the face of the battery will indicate its charge level. This battery is half charged. You'll want to charge each battery to its full capacity before taking your Phantom for a flight. Simply connect the battery to the charger. The lights will begin to blink, indicating the charge is running. Once the blinking lights have stopped, you can check to make sure the battery is fully charged. Next, let's charge the battery for the Futaba radio. First, attach the balance tap to the extension board of the Q1 charger. Then the red and black power lead to the black port on the multi-adapter cable. There's only one way it can fit. Make sure the charger is set to LiPo, 2S, and charging at 2.6 amps. To begin charging, press and hold the start button. You will see a confirmation screen, at which point you will press start again, and the charge will begin. To stop the charge, simply press the stop button. Never leave batteries unattended while charging. While we wait for the batteries to charge, let's take a look at the Phantom. The craft comes with a gimbal pre-installed. However, it is highly recommended that you remove the 3-axis gimbal and fly without it for at least 10 hours in order to properly familiarize yourself with the Phantom's controls. To remove the gimbal, simply pull the vibration absorbers off by pinching them and removing them from the bracket. Gently disconnect the ribbon cable from the gimbal and then set your gimbal aside. Once the batteries are fully charged and the props are installed, we're ready to fly. Take your kit to an open, clear area. For this video, the gimbal is attached, but remember, please fly at least 10 hours without it the gimbal must never be used without a GoPro camera attached, and the GoPro's built-in Wi-Fi must always be off. Making sure that all of the toggle switches on the radio transmitter are in their utmost position, turn on your transmitter. Then turn on the craft by pressing the battery indicator and pressing and holding again. Allow the craft to initialize without touching or moving it. Wait until there are no red flashing lights, indicating the craft has achieved a good GPS signal. Before we fly, we will need to do a compass calibration. This is done by flipping the SE switch up and down in rapid succession until the lights under your craft turn solid yellow. Pick up your craft and, while holding it horizontally, turn in an even 360 degree circle until the lights turn green. Now turn the craft vertically with the nose facing down and turn in another circle until the green lights turn off. If you get fast blinking red lights or alternating yellow and red lights, the compass calibration has failed and must be repeated. Once the compass calibration has been completed, place the Phantom on an even surface and step back at least 10 feet. To both start and stop the motors, push both sets of sticks down and towards the center. Once the motors are spinning, release the right stick and push straight up past the halfway point with the left throttle stick. You'll want to give your craft a good amount of throttle initially to overcome its own inertia and to prevent tipping over. But be prepared to level it off once it's in the air to prevent a rapid ascent. Now that your craft is in the air, you can capture all of the high quality cinematic shots your filming requires. 